say you're a loose cannon? I'm a loose cannon? Is that what you just said? To you? I don't know. No, I would in never general? say that you're a loose cannon. I you? thought you just I thought you just said this to yourself. I'm a loose cannon. No, I said I'm on your schedule. Oh. <laughs> but I am a loose cannon. Are you a loose cannon? Yeah. Really? For sure. I feel like on this movie you have to be a loose cannon because But I don't you're think a, of, uh, what is it? I don't think a loose cannon is necessarily bad. No, 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 you want a loose cannon. You just like never know when I'm gonna go. Well, I feel like uh, in this movie, Derek demands loose cannons. He wants you to do anything. <laughs> You're right. You, I feel like there must be at least one moment where you just went like, I'm a loose cannon, I'm going crazy. You're absolutely right. What moment is that? Um, there was actually a few moments, and there was a moment in the hospital scene that I actually walked out of this hospital room when I wasn't supposed to, and I haven't told that story to anybody. Um, so we're in the hospital scene, and my son, the second half of the film, my son is, something has happened, and um, I'm there, and I was just so frustrated and into character, and, you know, Derek creates this wonderfully real, raw environment, and, um, and I made myself stay up that night, that whole night in my room, just kind of obsessing, um, because as the mother of this child, she would have been staying up all night in the room with her child, and I didn't, you know, you know, I didn't wash my hair for two days, and I mean, a few, a few days. I was in it. I was in yeah. it. Whatever. I was in You're it. You're in the zone. I was in it. Yes. So then, uh, Derek, I was just a little stir crazy. Derek had me do it over and over and over again. I wasn't nailing it, and I was a loose cannon in the sense that I was just like, I walked out of his shot. He's like, "Get back here!" And I was like, <sighs> and then I got back in, you know, and then I did it. But it was the first time I've ever walked off a out of a shot. It before. sounds like a movie for both you and for Derek. I think he liked it, of... by the way. Oh, sure. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. it's in the movie, right? It was very dramatic. So. Uh, it feels like it's designed to kind of break you. In yes, a and, yes. And you were eager to do that. Yes, and I wanted to be broken. It was a very sick thing we go and do, right? <laughs> I was like, please break me. Oh, my gosh. And well, you did. You've done some amazing movies that, for me, they're, they're like that. Girl in Progress, Holy Motors. Are, they did you feel... like Girl in Progress? Yeah, I did. You did for real? Uh, for real, I did. For real. Yeah, for real. That's very sweet. Yeah, well, I'm Thank just saying, I like these. I like those movies because they seem to be. You, you seem to be tackling things that deglamorize and kind of a challenge and break you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I, I imagine that the people who uh, look at pictures of you walking your dog don't necessarily go see Holy Motors, and that you right. might introduce them to that. Is that something that you're chasing? Is that what I, you're after? No, but I'm not because I, I you know, I, I think it's. it's it, it's it's tricky territory to try to lead people somewhere, try to you know right. have an agenda in that way, and it's exhausting. But I would hope that certain people that maybe follow uh, what I'm wearing to the liquor store or whatever uh, would say, oh wait, she was you know, wait she's in this movie, and then go see a film that they've never they would have never gone to see. Absolutely. What are you wearing to the liquor store? Well, what at this of course. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Of course.